Happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome to the All About Favor channel. I am your host, Pastor KZ. This is your word for today. There is a reason the enemy is attacking you. There is a reason the enemy has been attacking you. You know what? The reason, part of the reason is you're spoiling his plan for you. But you have got to speak Jeremiah 29 and 11 over yourself. And it says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Y'all, when the enemy attacks you, the intent is to destroy you. The intent is to cause you to lose hope, shake your faith, and even make you give up on your dreams. But I am here today briefly to encourage you to be steadfast, be unmovable, and rebuke those thoughts, and don't walk in fear, doubt, or unbelief. The enemy is fighting you so hard Sometimes it seems like you're from one battle to the next battle. It's always something. You are under attack in your physical health. You might be under attack in your emotional health. You might be under attack in your finances. Your children may be under attack. Your family may be under attack. Your business ventures are under attack. Even your career is under attack. Have you ever felt this? Have you ever felt like when you get over one thing, something else comes up? My hand's up. You know what? I know sometimes it seems like the enemy is winning for some of you. I felt that way myself. Sometimes I felt like, my God, what, what else can I do? This It's always something. It's one thing when I think I've you know, gotten over this, something else comes up. Have you ever felt that way? Like, Lord, what's, what next? What do I need to be doing? I'm trying so hard. I know I felt that way. But you know what, y'all? The enemy is attacking you because you are a threat to him or her. You are a threat to them. You know what? The enemy is not winning. It just appears that way. You done made the enemy mad. How do I make the enemy mad? Sometimes just you being a blessing to somebody else makes the enemy mad. And now I'm going to really hit something right now. You have made the enemy mad when he see you didn't give up. When your enemies see that you have not given up, when they look around and they see you can still walk around with a smile on your face to someone who has done you wrong and hurt you to the core and talked about you all over the city, all over the state, and you can still stand there with that person and greet them with love and to treat them with love and kindness the enemy don't like that the enemy looking at you sideways because they're wondering that didn't break them losing your job that didn't break you your business falling apart and you got to reestablish and reorganize your business venture it didn't break you your daddy passed away your mama passed away but you're still standing yeah you still got tears that you shed but it didn't break you the enemy don't like that, y'all. You, They don't like you. You can still be a blessing and go bless somebody, the very person who wronged you. You can still smile at them. Even though you have been mistreated, you can still walk with your head up. Even though you done been through a humiliating event, yet you can still walk with your head up. And the enemy does not like that. So he brings on more and more attacks to try to break your spirit, try to break your character. But I'm going to speak about me just for a moment. I done been through some stuff, y'all. People have attacked me. The enemy has sent people to attack me, sent people to say things that hurt me to my core. But y'all know what? I'm going to still stand and I'm going to still treat them with love and kindness. I'm going to still be able to bless them even though they did me wrong. I can tell you my story, y'all. Even though the enemy has attacked my health and, 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 and the doctors gave me up, 
And when I, when I came out of that coma, the Holy Spirit was all inside of me, y'all. And the way I used to be, I can't be that way no more. The energy I used to give other people and other things, y'all, is petting it. Don't matter no more. I'm fighting to live because I know it's got to be a better place than this. Y'all, I can still show you love. I can still treat you with kindness. I can still walk with dignity and with my head up. When y'all, when I fell so low, y'all, I didn't think I could get back up. Only the most high and people surrounding in my circle who loved me who prayed me over, over prayed me through some stuff when I couldn't pray for myself it was people at my bedside praying for me y'all now the enemy can attack me but I'm gonna still get back up because I know the plans the Lord have for me. And he plans to prosper me. He plans to do me no harm. He has got plans for me to have hope and a future. Y'all, I better quit because I'm about to get messed up here. Because you see, I know. Mm, I know the reason for the attacks. But God, I better stop. I better stop because God has a plan for me. Y'all, this platform here is part of his plan for me. I may not reach 100,000 viewers, 100,000 subscribers, but that's not what I'm doing. I, if I've reached one and got one subscriber, y'all, it would be worth it. Oh, I just thank the most high for when the attacks come my way, he always lifts me up. He brings me back. Y'all, I'm the queen of the comebacks. I'm just want to tell somebody today, be encouraged. It's a reason why the enemy is attacking you. Y'all, I got to stop. I got to stop. I got to go give a word today. I got to go regroup and get revamped. Y'all about to mess me up this morning. You spoiling the enemy's plan. Y'all, keep walking in favor. Don't give up. Don't give up. Know who you belong to. And know that it's a purpose for your struggle. It's a purpose why things are getting shaken up. It's a purpose when it feels like things are just not going right. you just being set up for one of the biggest comebacks ever. It's a reason the enemy is attacking you. You're getting closer and closer to your breakthrough. Y'all, I'm done. I'm, I better stop. I'm going to stop right now before I just mess up. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful Sunday. I'll see you back tomorrow.